Hi, this is Shad with LoveToCo.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Eclipse. In this video, you will learn how to add jar files to an Eclipse project. I will cover the following topics. Jar refresher, adding a jar file, and using classes from jar file. Okay, so let's get started. You can use jar files to add functionality to your application. There are Java libraries available that are created by third-party groups. The most popular is open source software. The Java libraries are packaged as jar files. A jar file is basically a collection of compressed Java class files. In this example, I want to add a stopwatch functionality to my application. When the application is running, I would like to find out how long does a certain section of code take to run. Apache Commons provides a stopwatch class. This class has methods to start and stop, and you can manage it via your code. The documentation for the stopwatch class is available here at Apache's website. I've created a very simple Eclipse project. It only has one class right now. It is a main method that will display the word running. Then it will perform a lengthy process, which is basically a call to this method here that just does a sleep for three seconds, and then we'll print out finished. What I'd like to do is add some real stopwatch functionality to this application. The first thing I need to do is I need to download the jar file from the Apache website. So let me move over to my browser, and I have a bookmark set up for it now, but basically you want to go to this URL, commonsapache.org, commons lane. Once you're at this site, there's a link here for download. I'll select download, and I'll move down to binaries, and I'll choose the binary that I want. I'll choose commons lane, bin.zip. This will ask me to save it to my file system. I'll go ahead and select yes, and it will save it to my local file system. I can go look at my downloads directory, and I'll see that this file has now been downloaded to my local file system. I have the file. Now I need to extract it. So I just double click, extract this file. Now we have this directory, and it has this one file in here that I want, commonslang.jar. Now I'll copy this file and paste it over in my Eclipse project. So first I'll start a right click, I'll select copy, move over to the Eclipse project, I'll move to the root folder of the project, and I'll right click and select paste. And now we have this file in our project. At this point Eclipse is not aware that this is a jar file that we're going to use in our program. We must explicitly tell Eclipse that this is a new Java library for our project. We can accomplish this with the following steps. I can right click on my project and choose properties. Then I can move over to Java Build Path. And then I can select the tab for Libraries. So this is where we add additional jars or additional libraries to our project. Here I'll select the option Add Jars. And I will expand the folder here for our project. And I'll select this jar file, commonslang.jar. That's the same one that we copied over earlier. I'll hit OK, and I'll select OK. Now that we have the commons lang jar file added to our project, I want to make use of the stopwatch class that's defined in that jar file. What I'll do here is I'll create a new instance of the stopwatch. So here I have stopwatch. My stopwatch equals a new stopwatch. But note here Eclipse has the red underline saying that, hey, there's a problem. It can't resolve the type. So if I simply float over that, notice it gives you a list of quick fix options. So these quick fix options is basically where Eclipse will go and try and figure out how to solve your problem. And I like the first option that, that they give me here. Uh, that's import stopwatch that's defined in org Apache Commons Lang 3 dot time. Hey, that's correct. So I'll select this option. And then if I move to the top, we'll see that Eclipse added the import statement for me automatically. And the error messages have gone away. Very nice. Now I'll go ahead and make use of my stopwatch variable that I have. I'll say my stopwatch dot. And then I'll call the start method. I'll start the stopwatch, and then afterwards I'll say my stopwatch dot stop to stop it. And now I want to do a sysout print line, and I want to print time is, and I'll say my stopwatch dot get time, and this will give us the time in milliseconds. Let's run the program and check our output. A 
and great. So it displayed the time that it took to run the program, which matches out correctly because our lengthy process method in a three second delay works out to 3000 milliseconds. So this looks very good. So our stopwatch is working as desired. This wraps up our video on jar files. You learn how to add jar files to your Eclipse project. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Eclipse and Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also visit our website, lovetocode.com to download the Java source code used in this video.